started then with the first, metallic finishes. Metallic finishes lead the embellishment game. Ultimately, they do something that flat colors simply can't do. This is, and this pertains specifically to um, conveying luxury cues, and in some, interest, in some instances, adding texture and adding dimension. That's why metallics are the perfect foil for neutrals, as well as natural home, envir home environments. They look amazingly fresh when paired with basic linen, distressed finishes, and reclaimed woods. And as stated in the uh, first look publication, moving forward, I think two of the key things to be looking for are metallics that have more of a low luster finish, as well as metallics in more of a brushed variety. Each of the spreads in the first look publication have some notes, so feel free to um, feel free to, to jot some of those things down. This idea of metallics, you'll probably find some insights on page 11, and that's in the fabric spread. I'm going to be jumping around. I didn't really want to just duplicate the, pr the, the printed piece here for today, so I'll jump around and I'll give you sort of a heads up where you might find some more of those insights. Metallics cross several price points. The price point we're at right now is $10,000. This chair costs about $10,000. You can see this chair in the lobby of Building B. It's called the Rampazzi Chair by Carlo Rampazzi. And it is um, produced, manufactured by a company called Colombo Steel. And they are, um, it's an operation. They have a retail storefront based in Miami. And um, they're here at the show as part of that Italian design pavilion. So in any case, um, in this chair, sort of start, you know, top, top to bottom, What's happening here? Why is this $10,000? And what are, some of the per what are some of the treatments on this product that send that value cue that say, this product is worth it? Well, for starters, each of those tufts have a, has a Swarovski crystal embedded in it. The finish on the uh, leather is a platinum and gold finish. It's an animal embossed leather. Moving forward then around, uh, d down from the uh, uh, arm down to most of the leg, those are Swarovski crystals in circles around the arm. And then obviously that nice turn detail on the, um, on the foot. And there's also Swarovski crystals across, right beneath the seat. Um, maybe it's a price point that exceeds what your store design firm can manage. Nevertheless, what's happening here is that there are purchased cues that speak for themselves, metallic, embellish, metallic and embellishments in this case, that say, I'm worth it. I'm worth that $10,000 price tag. So let's move to um, out of the sort of upper echelon stratosphere, if you will, and come down perhaps to reality. There's a market for that, though. And let's look at some metallics that um, might resonate more with the customer that the customers that, that come to your store. Please double check the showrooms before you make your way. I, I um, was working pretty quickly on adding those showroom spaces, so just double check those before you head out. Um, what we're looking at here in the lower right are some uh, chargers, some platters or trays from Toe's Eye Home. And what you're going to notice is this same idea, significantly lower price point. But the same idea, metallic finishes and the animal embossing. It, it adds layer, even if it's not something that's a tactile layer, it adds layer and dimension to this product. Buy me, I'm worth it. I have all this extra detail. On the left of the screen, you see this um, great collection from Cyan Design. It's new this fall, it's called the Amelia Fixture. Really exciting in this burnished brush finish. And what you're going to notice are some of the embellishments that have sort of a deco feel. Those are glass, um, those are glass pendants hanging from the fixture. This collection has a larger fixture, and it also has a really clever sconce that you might have seen um, promoted in some of the materials you received before the market. Moving over then to the piece, the Cristorama from the Solaris series. Same idea, um, but a different finish, different metallic finish, a cooler tone. Um, and then also, we also have the um, Trinity wall decor piece from Artisan House. Um, all of the pieces here on the screen are in the publication except the chargers. The Artisan House piece actually is part of a set of three. And one of the things you'll see once you have a chance to read through the publication and that opening spread, the accent spread, is this idea of eco-awareness and awareness and, and, and concern for Earth 
to some extent, then these products sort of goes beyond just an interest in planet Earth. We're seeing an interest in stars, and particularly in the artisan house piece, this idea of sort of supernova, star being born, a sort of star cluster, and then also too in the Solaris, this idea of orbiting. So I think you know, we're becoming more aware not just of the place we live, you know, the, the planet we live on, but also an awareness that goes beyond that in scope and scale. Um, some of the things, as I've mentioned, low luster brushed metallics, that's true in gold and silver and bronze. They're all popular and they're all gonna coordinate very well with that sort of raw look as well as the very natural look that you'll see some images of moving forward. Black iron, especially the hand forged variety, is also finding its way back into fashion. Extremely versatile. Metallics are extremely versatile. They're able to morph and work into a variety of design trends, and they're not going away anytime soon. Looking for metallics and making purchase decisions, decisions that incorporate this as an embellishment are gonna carry you through 2010 for sure. You've seen some of the, you've seen some of that warmer personality in metallic finishes, some of the cooler personality in the metallic finishes. I'm liking how this silver combines with this ebony, this black finish here. Different personality, although similar to the cyan design fixture, glamorous, adds a little bit of glamour to it. Um, this is a 19th century Bombay inspired chest. It's finished in bold ebony lacquer. And then there's obviously the contrasting vibrant silver. And uh, that silver ultimately highlights the motif, sort of a floral, sort of scroll work in a subtle way. What I really like, too, is the um, fact that the finish frames the surface, frames the top, and also sort of acts as like a piece of armature, if you will, um, on the leg in the upper right front. Something different, something extra, something value added. I'm worth it. In that glamour, cool personality with the silvers, there's also an exciting launch here at the fall market um, in the Lexington home brands. They've come out with their San Tropez collection. Um, they're located in Building C. And um, very different personality, but again, the idea of metallics being very important here. It's a gold burnished silver leaf inlay on the Riviera sideboard. The hardware is champagne colored. The Alhambra chair with its um, quarter flow motif on the back. Um, it has the Corsica finish, what's, which is being described as a sienna burnished gold. And notice the hound's tooth. This, you know, hound's tooth is a familiar pattern. We've been you know, seeing that here and there. We've been seeing the menswear trend here and there. But look at how exciting and sort of new it looks in that sort of metallic treatment. Again, something extra, something that adds value, something that makes you want to say yes. This is um, the Cecil fixture and it's from AF Lighting. If you're in the market for adding some lighting to your store or your firm, you need to check out AF Lighting this market. They have numerous, numerous introductions, approaching 100, lots of SKUs down there, and they have some, some great designs in their licensed collection from Candace Olson. And this group, this line, um, I, I think this image in these images in particular show these very two personalities, you know, the same fixture, a warmer finish, has its own application. And then obviously the chrome finish, a very different kind of application. I don't know if it comes through, but there's an etched glass piece in, each, in front of each of those bulbs, 60 watt bulbs, by the way. And um, again, it's a, there's a star motif. I'm still sort of tracking and liking this idea of sort of celestial interest, interest beyond the earth. And um, I, I didn't want to miss sharing with you these really cute sconces that go along with the, question, the, the collection. They're about 10 inches high. And I think they have a, a lot of personality and a lot of real value behind those products. Um, key thing here, and we're gonna talk about this when we get into the neutrals. We're seeing gold finishes and silver finishes equally important at the same time. And what we're gonna see that happen as a result in neutrals is continued interest in browns, but then obviously growing dominance of the grays. So you have this warming trend and this cooling trend happening at the same time. It's happening in the colors, it's happening in the browns and the grays, and it's also happening in the finishes, new metallic finishes that you're seeing on product. 